Welcome back now to a CBS 4 News Health Alert about new guidelines regarding peanut allergies. And it's a complete 180 from what parents have been told for years. CBS 4's Tiani Jones spoke with a local family that deals with that allergy every day. Elizabeth Wasserman followed all the rules from her pediatrician with her daughter Shelby, especially the no peanuts before age three rule. But as most parents know, sometimes toddlers get into mischief. She was around 11 months old and my son was eating some peanut butter and jelly crackers and he had this little desk and she crawled on over there and she got to it. Shelby broke out in hives, was rushed to the doctor, and her life as a kid with a peanut allergy began. Like all my friends would be like eating stuff, like birthday cake at parties and like I couldn't have it, or like on Halloween, all mean like the Halloween candy that like I couldn't have, so it was annoying. But new research suggests that half the family introduced Shelby to peanuts as young as four months. She may have built up a resistance. New guidelines from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases recommend introducing high risk babies to foods containing peanuts. Dr. Hugh Sampson of Mount Sinai Hospital helped write the recommendations. Now we're saying not only it's okay, we're saying go do it. In these high risk children, we need to get peanut into their diet early to try to prevent peanut allergy. Now, Shelby wasn't high risk, but doctors believe these new guidelines will open the door to introducing most infants to peanuts earlier on in life. Right now, the new guidelines say high risk babies with severe eczema or egg allergy should be given peanut protein in the first four to six months. I wish something like this would cure peanut allergy, but it, you know, it, it's unlikely. I think we can significantly reduce the amount of peanut allergy. Wasserman says even with the new guidelines, she'd have a hard time following them with a new baby. If she didn't have a peanut allergy, I still would have had a hard time with that. I think that um, it's, it's a risk, I, th I think. So many parents will have to pack their kids' lunch tomorrow, making sure that there are no peanut products inside. Well, these new guidelines come after research that showed that 80% of babies who were introduced to peanuts early on did not develop peanut allergies. Tiani Jones, CBS 4 News Tonight.